The Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China, or COMAC, emerged with a clear mission. Established in 2008 by the Chinese government, its goal was to challenge Boeing and Airbus. This state-owned enterprise symbolized China's growing technological prowess. COMAC was tasked with designing and building large passenger aircraft. The company first developed the ARJ-21, a regional jet. While the ARJ-21 faced delays, it laid crucial groundwork. COMAC always had its sights set on larger, more globally competitive aircraft. The strategic importance of COMAC to China cannot be overstated. It is a cornerstone of the Made in China 2025 initiative. Success in aerospace would bring immense national pride. It would also reduce China's reliance on foreign aircraft manufacturers. Developing a strong aerospace sector is vital for national security. COMAC embodies China's aspiration to be a leader in critical global industries. Before the recent U.S. suspension, COMAC was making steady progress. The company was seen as a long-term challenger, slowly chipping away at the established duopoly. The flagship project for COMAC is the C-919. This aircraft represents China's challenge to global aviation leaders. The C-919 is a narrow-body jet, designed to seat around 150 to 170 passengers. China aims for the C-919 to capture a significant share of its domestic market first. The development of the C-919 has been a long journey. The project was launched in 2008, with its first test flight in May 2017. The Civil Aviation Administration of China granted the C-919 its type certificate in September 2022. The aircraft entered commercial service with China Eastern Airlines in May 2023. A critical aspect of the C-919 program is its reliance on international suppliers. The airframe is Chinese-made, but many crucial systems are sourced from Western aerospace companies. This global supply chain was essential for the C-919's development, but also created a significant vulnerability. COMAC announced hundreds of orders, mostly from Chinese airlines. The C-919's potential was seen in reshaping domestic air travel within China. The landscape for COMAC changed dramatically in early May 2025. The United States government announced a suspension of sales of critical technologies to COMAC. This move sent shockwaves through the global aviation industry. The timing appeared calculated, coming after the C-919 had just begun to establish a commercial presence. The suspension targeted high-value components essential for modern aircraft manufacturing. The implications were severe for COMAC's flagship programs. The decision was issued by the U.S. Department of Commerce. The official justification cited national security and U.S. foreign policy interests. The scope of the suspension was defined to hit COMAC where it was most vulnerable. It targeted technologies crucial for the C-919 and future projects like the C-929. The U.S. government made it clear that licenses for exporting these technologies to COMAC would face a presumption of denial. Immediate reactions to the U.S. announcement were swift. COMAC expressed deep regret and stated it was assessing the impact. The Chinese government condemned the move, labeling it as technological bullying. Industry observers were surprised by the abruptness and severity of the action. Concerns spread quickly about the future of the C-919 and the stability of global aerospace supply chains. At the heart of the U.S. suspension are the jet engines that power the C-919. The aircraft relies on the Leap 1C engine, produced by CFM International. GE's involvement places the Leap 1C under U.S. export control regulations. Without these engines, the C919 cannot be produced or operated. The Leap 1C engines are integral to the C919's performance. They offer improvements in fuel efficiency, reduced emissions, and lower noise levels. China has been working on its own jet engine, the CJ1000A, but it is years away from certification. The US suspension impacts a wide array of other critical technologies. Modern aircraft rely heavily on sophisticated avionics systems. Many of these systems for the C-919 are supplied by U.S. companies. Losing access to these technologies is a crippling blow. COMAC will struggle to continue assembling new aircraft without a steady supply of engines and avionics. Existing production schedules will be thrown into chaos. The suspension could lead to a complete halt of the C-919 assembly line. This jeopardizes COMAC's ability to fulfill existing orders. The suspension casts a long shadow over the entire program's viability. 
the U.S. decision to suspend tech sales to Comac is deeply intertwined with the broader U.S.-China relationship. For years, the two global powers have been engaged in escalating trade disputes and technological rivalry. The aerospace sector has become a key arena in this competition. This action against Comac reflects deep-seated American concerns. There are long-standing complaints about Chinese practices regarding intellectual property. U.S. officials have accused China of IP theft and forced technology transfer. National security concerns also loom large. China views the U.S. actions as an attempt to stifle its technological advancement. Beijing decries the move as economic coercion and protectionism. The timing of the decision may have been influenced by specific intelligence assessments. It could also be linked to broader geopolitical events. The move signals a hardening of U.S. policy towards China's technological ambitions. The immediate impact on COMAX operations is catastrophic. Production schedules for the C919 are in disarray. Without a supply of critical U.S.-sourced components, assembling new aircraft becomes nearly impossible. COMAC faces the prospect of halting its C919 production line. Existing orders are at significant risk of delay or cancellation. The financial implications for COMAC are severe. A halt in production means no revenue from aircraft sales. COMAC will likely require substantial financial support from the Chinese government. The suspension damages COMAC's reputation and perceived reliability. COMAC is scrambling to find alternative suppliers, but this is challenging. Developing indigenous Chinese replacements is a long-term endeavor. The crisis impacts morale within COMAC and forces a re-evaluation of its strategic direction. The ambition to challenge Boeing and Airbus has suffered a severe setback. COMAC is at a crossroads, facing immense pressure to devise a viable path forward. The U.S. suspension of technology sales to COMAC impacts the global aviation supply chain. Major U.S. aerospace suppliers had significant contracts to supply components for the C919. The suspension means an immediate loss of these sales. This could impact their financial results and potentially lead to job losses in the U.S. European companies are also key contributors to the C919. They may face pressure to comply with U.S. restrictions. This creates a climate of uncertainty and forces difficult choices. Companies may become hesitant to engage in new projects with Chinese aerospace firms. This situation raises the specter of a potential bifurcation in the global aviation supply chain. We could see the emergence of two distinct ecosystems. Airlines that have ordered the C919 face considerable uncertainty. They may reconsider their fleet plans, potentially leading them to place new orders with Boeing or Airbus. This would further entrench the dominance of the Western duopoly. China's response to the U.S. suspension is likely to be multifaceted. The initial reaction has been strong condemnation. Beyond rhetoric, China may consider retaliatory measures against U.S. companies. The primary focus will be on mitigating the damage to COMAC. The suspension serves as a catalyst for self-sufficiency. China will pour greater resources into its domestic programs. This includes accelerating the development of its own jet engines. Similar efforts will be intensified for avionics and other critical components. Developing advanced jet engines or complex avionics systems is a monumental undertaking. Achieving international certification will be a major hurdle. China might explore deeper collaboration with other nations such as Russia. Ultimately, China's goal will be to build its own complete independent aerospace industrial base. This will be a long and arduous path. The U.S. suspension of critical technology sales to COMAC is a landmark event. It sends a signal of America's intent to curb China's ambitions in high technology sectors. This move fundamentally alters the perceived trajectory of China's rise as an aerospace power. It delays COMAC's challenge to the Boeing Airbus duopoly. With the C919 program hampered, airlines will have fewer alternatives. This reinforces the market power of Boeing and Airbus. China's dream of becoming a major player in global civil aviation has been dealt a blow. This suspension contributes to the growing trend of technological decoupling between the U.S. and China. The aviation sector is now a key battleground in this decoupling process. The era of open technological exchange may be drawing to a close. This could lead to inefficiencies and a slower pace of technological advancement globally. The U.S. decision will have lasting consequences for the future of air travel and aerospace innovation. The global aviation industry is entering a new, more uncertain phase.